to continue our tutorial, so I'm going to select this, and I want to make sure that I'm in object mode. You're going to always check. If you're in component mode, you'll know because it'll be blue. So uh, just select on this, and as you see, I left a little bit of space, but I'll leave that up to you. So what I want to do now is I want to use duplicate special to make several copies of this in a way that is uniform. So one of the things I'm going to do is I put up against the back wall, and I'm going to bring it all the way over here against the wall, and sure I go back in the room and select this and I am in object mode and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to create actually just give me a second uh, duplicate special and I'm going to click on this box which will open the special features so we'll click on that and so it's important to know where do I want to uh, so here are my X Y Z values and one way to remember is if you're not sure which axes you're doing the duplicate special on, look down here, X, so that's on the X axis, so X, Y, Z, so I want to create um, a separation of five, and I want to create four of these copies, and so I'm going to apply that, and see what happens. So there you go, I created five pillars all together in the room so I'm ready to continue. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some primitive modeling using uh, one of this uh, this shape here I guess um, the right term I guess I was going to say uh, cylinder but it's really like a triangle so I'm going to click and I'm going to come to the center of the room just click once and you may want to uh, also go to uh, the channel box and rename this to uh, console so you don't get it mixed up with everything else and what we're going to do is we're going to change a few of these things so for subdivision axis we're going to go to 18 um, radius of 2 and a height of 4 with uh, subdivision a second here we're going to go with 5 and you're going to see if I zoom in what happens when I do the 5 you're going to click enter so there you go, and I can move this up and get a sense of size. And one thing you may want to do in your orthographic mode, see where it is located in the room. And it's also important, it's pretty central, but I could move it. And make sure that it doesn't block the boxes so that, you know, if you have it moved over here too much, it could be confusing for a beginner. Uh, so just leave it in the center of the room. That's probably the best spot for it. What we're going to do now, we're going to go to the modeling toolkit and or if you prefer the right mouse button, which is the one I prefer often. Give me a second here. So in the modeling toolkit, so it brings up, so you have your component modes here instead of your object mode. I prefer it bring the, because what I'm looking for is to uh, change the edges or the vertexes actually. And I'm going to press and I'm going to go in uh, side view. So one of these here is pretty good. And so I'm going to select that. And again, I'll select uh, edge mode, or sorry, vertex mode. And I'm not sure why I had to use the vertex mode here. But what I want to do is this is going to enlarge the whole thing. So not just what I see, but you know, this is actually a 3D shape. So by doing this, uh, what I want to do is uh, enlarge it. So, um, so I meant raise it. So I'm going to raise it all the way up to here. So now I am going to need, need to select it. If I'm not selected, I need to be in the room. I haven't selected this by accident, so I just press the uh, space bar or go here, one or the other, and go in here, select it, and then again press space bar. I'm going to go back here. So you probably hopefully didn't unselect there. Did it again. Second. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go now again vertex mode. And what I want to do is enlarge this one. So this is your move tool. So the, uh, the one you want is the R key. And very important that you use this middle one which will move everything evenly. Well if you use this this one it'll move only a certain direction so you want to have it kind of like that and then I'm going to go W and I'm going to bring it down I'm pretty happy with that and I'm going to do the 
same with this. I'm going to bring it inside. And I will do that same with this vertex and bring that all the way in the bottom there. All right. Actually, I just noticed I did something wrong. Go control Z, control Z, control Z. What I want to do is bring that over here. And I want to make the hole a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go and press R. And I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to make the hole a little bit bigger. And I'm going to press W. And using this top vertex, I'm going to, oops, that's the top vertex. So let's go to object mode. Yeah, I'm just having a little bit of bad luck here. And let's just click on that. Let's go to vertex mode. And we, we want this vertex. And I'm going to just drop that inside. But now let's see what we created. We're going to go back to our room. We're going to zoom out. So a hole like this or a little bit bigger is what you're aiming for. So that's perfect.